My dad had a very easy way of explaining it. You want to hit it low, stop it, show your shoulders. You want to hit it normal, stop at your head. And if you want to hit it high, have your hands finish above your head. And so when you're trying to explain how to hit different shots to a five-year-old, trying to make it really simple like that, you know, those are all feel things that connect me with the, the club head and the shot, where I don't really worry about mechanics that much. It's something I, I've been good at my, basically you know, my, my entire career. Do you have a preference of shape that pairs with a trajectory? Well, I've got to have them all. <laughs> yeah, so it's all in nine shots. So it's high, medium, low on both sides of the golf ball. I look at the lie I have and then start feeling the shot. I look at where I don't want the golf ball to be and then try and figure out what shape, shot, feel it, and then become one with the shot. Basically trying to get a whole sense of hands connecting to the body, connecting to the club, get into the golf shot. I like keeping rounds clean with no bogeys and I think understanding where I need to miss it starts with that. In terms of practice, he'll definitely have weeks and days and practice sessions where he'll try to hit just stock every single shot the whole way through. Typically when he's doing that though, he's working maybe on his swing or he's adjusting to equipment. Once those two things are kind of fairly dialed in, then it becomes more of a shot shaping exercise, low, high, medium, everything in the bag. Well, trajectory control, I think, is the uh, epitome of trying to keep the ball the proper distance. Understanding how to flight your golf ball, controlling trajectory controls distance. Well, if I got a front pin, I got a hard greens, I've got downwind like this, trying to hit the ball softer, you know, all the little things trying to keep the ball the proper distance. Um, with it being like this, being slightly downhill lie, 200 yards, I can cover that with a seven iron. And now because I'm increasing speed, I can go down to club too, as well. What conditions would make you choose a higher trajectory? Uh, if the pin's up front, if the pins, if the greens are firm, uh, if it's downwind, I may throw the ball up. Those are all scenarios in which I will throw the ball up. But if the conditions are soft and the fairways are slow and, and the ball's not chasing, then those are all scenarios in which I will not hit the ball up. I have to bring it down. So the high one, I basically move my ball, one ball up in my stance, try and make sure I stay back on my right leg to try and make sure that I release the club fully. And all I do is add more hand speed at the bottom to try and hit the ball even higher. I think the, the immediate pitfall is that a lot of people go back on a reverse on it to try and get the ball up. I had to basically try and stay back on my right leg and really try and feel like my arms and my hands increase speed to try and get the ball up. All right, I've got 202 yards, solid downhill lie. I want to hit this ball high. If I hit a high cut, I can't get there. But if I hit a high draw, I can get there. So I'm gonna stand on my right leg a little bit longer, increase speed with my arms. I'm gonna put a little right hand in there right before impact to draw the ball. Does he play higher, low shots more often? It trends now towards high shots, but again, that, that's more of a byproduct of the golf courses and kind of the tour setups these days. Um, he sees low, um, you know, kind of as the default. He's trying to hit it usually as low as he possibly can 
to every single target, but you get a front pin with hard greens, you know, then all of a sudden it's the ball's got to get higher and you've got to have a lot more spin. What's your criteria for hitting a low trajectory shot? Well, even if the pin's up front, there's times that I've thrown that are low. I've been comfortable at doing that, and taking spin off the golf ball has been easier for me than it is in imparting spin. So hitting the softer shots have, have been easier for me. Well, I'd bring this shot out anytime I had a back pin. I get a little bit of wind, a little bit of puff uh, it's coming from over the trees here. Or I'm just trying to if I'm not feeling very good that particular day, I want to get the ball down. I put the ball back more towards my right foot. On this shot in particular, in order to get the ball there, I'm going to have to aim a little bit further right. I'm going to really stand on top of this golf ball, try and get my right hip up, covering this golf ball. If I want to take it down a little bit further, I'm then going to control my trajectory with my hands. Where I don't want to hands to finish, I want the hands to finish my shoulder height, which is kind of a flat one, or I really want to bring it in low. I try to stop my hands right around my ribs. Here, to get the ball there, no problem. Finish shoulder height, I can cover it there. In terms of controlling how the ball reacts on the green with a lower shot, how do you control that, or is that a conditions-led thing? It's a conditions led thing. If, and it all starts with the lie. If I, if I have the ability to have a firm fairway, clean golf ball that's dry, then I can impart spin. But if it's on the softer side, then I, I don't have the ability to put as much spin on it. And so that obviously that changes the shot I'm going to play and um, those scenarios. But, you know, I, th I just think that it's so much easier playing on, on faster, harder conditions for me because I play with a spinner ball, so I have more options in that regard. The harder I hit it, the more I'm gonna spin it. So into the wind, I generally go up a half a club, um, but in this case, because the lie is slightly down, I can get a seven iron there, but generally I would drop down to a six and then stop my hand short. Here we are, 200 yards. I've got slightly into the wind now. Just going to cover it there. I'm going to have to play the ball slightly further back. I'm going to have to draw it. So I'm going to go to the right edge of the green and get on top of it. I'm going to shut my follow through off. My tendency is to, is to hang on the left side, hang too much, and then I get too steep on it, I end up kicking the ball up, making sure that I stay even and then cover it. It allows me to get the ball down and then on, on top of the golf ball as well, so I'm not backing up on it. I play so much on feel in my hands, and then once I determine the lie, the number, then it goes into where I want it to miss. And then if I happen to have a, a situation where everything's all good, then I get hyper aggressive. Then I start firing at, at flags. But if I don't, I get very conservative and putting the dump in the ball and, and really trusting my putting in my short game. It's all feeling what I see and trying to be connected with the shot. I can guarantee that I'm gonna get clean contact on the back of that ball. If it's a hard pack bunker, I can control the spin all day. So I really try and feel as if all my speed is with my arms. That gets down, my feet stay grounded, so I don't slip. I don't have any of this sinking motion. 